So in this video, I'll teach you how to build a bolt action cannon. So first of all, I'll teach you how it works. So it's a bolt action system, like I said, it shoots these, these ammunition consecutively. So it's pretty cool. And I'll show you how to build it. Start off, you want a block. Any block is fine. It's just a basic building block. So make a little platform here so I can build. Then what you want to do is you want to place one. I'll use a different block for temporary block. So you're going to delete this later on. So you want to pick your ammunition. I picked dynamites because why not? They explode. And I will now chamber this dynamite. So what I mean is I want to make a make a two. That is that is as as close to the dynam the size of the dynamite as possible. After you measure it out, you can close begin to close it up, and then you can start making the top part of the barrel. So after you finish measuring your barrel, it should look somewhat like this. Your your dynamite fits as closely in the barrel as possible. So now we're going to make a magazine. Delete your temporary block. Leave this dynamite here. Pick a different block for your stripper clip. So what it means is it's going. It's a clip. It attaches some dynamites on it. You could add as many ammunition as possible, but I I usually suggest five. Anchor your your stripper clip so it should float like this. You could place your real ammunition here. So I could place one, two, three, four. So use your building block. Then what you want is you want a piston. So make the piston face forward. Then you want a magnet. Place a building block on top of the magnet. Scale down to 0 0.2. Make it go back a little bit. This is so that the gun doesn't overfeed itself and blow the, blow the entire thing up and the next step is you want to make the action work so what you want to do is you want to place around here a lever that connects all the bombs so they don't detonate prematurely and you want your actual lever here near your near your main system delete this one use this tool select these two connect it to the lever making magazine cover. So point is to make it not, not spill out when it fires. So what you want to do, you want to do, do something like this. So you want a little wall here. It doesn't have to be airtight. It's just prevent the block from flying around when, when you cycle the rounds. So how you use this is you're going to delete the stripper clip. Magazine falls down, you activate this lever, you push the first round into the chamber when you put the lever again the bolt cycles it fires i'll show you by making it transparent so pushes the round into the chamber fires the round it cycles another round into the chamber and you could keep doing this as long as you like you can have a stripper clip with 30 rounds if you want but the more rounds the more unstable because it's objects stacked on top of each other and last round you can just clear the magazine this is going to be my machine so i have two clips on top you could re you could actually reload this thing let me just shoot all this Let's say you ran out of ammo you can do this and then you're now loaded now you can fire again and anyway, thank you guys for watching this tutorial on auto cannons. If you like this tutorial, be sure to share it and join the Discord to comment on videos that I should do in the future. And see you guys next time.